as well. Uh, if one person goes on a call, then people are, it's very hard for them to come back and, and to lay down and rest. Most of our firefighters don't sleep much here anymore. They are able to lay down and get some rest, uh, but because we're doing over 4,000 calls a year now, uh, it's, they're, they're pretty much busy running all night long. But some of the things that we have for technology, if you look at the speaker system, is in the center, LED lights, and it's called ramp up lighting. And what that will do is, is when the alert tone goes off, that red light will start to ramp up, and it will actually uh, slowly awake the person instead of just jolting them to, to uh, being awake. And the speaker also does the same thing. It will actually come in at a low volume and work its way out. The reason for that is, is that they found in studies that the firefighters' uh, pulse rates were going up to 200 uh, when the alarms went off, and it stayed there for 20 to 30 minutes and it's not healthy so these are some of the things that they're trying to do to to assist with that problem and from what I understand it's working we have ten bedrooms in all and basically uh, the bedrooms all wrap around the outside edges we do have our own wash uh, laundry room area this is used for the for the uniforms that the guys wear uh, what we found is, is that when they go out on calls, especially EMS, they can come back and have contaminants on them. This allows them to be able to wash their clothes here and not bring those contaminants home to wash with their family members so that we don't have any of that cross-contamination. So this is, uh, this is something that's really typical now in the fire service. We have a fire pole. Looks a little different than the one we used to have. This is actually what they call an NFPA approved fire pole. And it's uh, it's set up so that we have a clamshell down there and when it opens